Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how the dictionary can help you better understand your Mac. So by dictionary, of course, I mean the dictionary app that comes with your Mac. In Lion and in Snow Leopard, it has a special feature where it has some Apple documentation built into it. Let me show you. So the dictionary app looks like this and you can look up words in it as you would a normal dictionary. But notice that in addition to Dictionary Thesaurus and Wikipedia you also have a special Apple Dictionary. Switch to that and you're only going to find words that Apple has added that help you understand your computer. For instance, suppose we wanted to look up Thunderbolt. You can see here there's a definition for Thunderbolt right there in the Apple Dictionary. If you don't see the Apple Dictionary there then you can go to Dictionary Preferences and under there make sure you've checked off the Apple Dictionary. Now you can look up all sorts of things like names of applications, anything specific to Apple or your Mac. For instance you can even look up names of computers, find the difference between the MacBook and the MacBook Air for instance. Uh, you can look up different types of connections like FireWire. And if you want to see a list of all sorts of terms just kind of browse through them. You could just start with a letter. So say A and then you can see all of the words that start with A that are in the Apple Dictionary. Now sometimes you'll come across a term that you may think is in the Apple Dictionary and it's not. Like for instance USB. No entries found. Well it, it turns out the Apple Dictionary doesn't duplicate what's already in the regular dictionary. So if you run into a term like that switch to the regular dictionary and you find that USB is well represented in there. Now you also have access to Wikipedia from inside of a dictionary. You can use that on the web as normal but if you're looking up something here say FireWire and you also want to see what Wikipedia has to say about it you can quickly switch to it and get all sorts of information about that particular technology. So if you're looking to know more about Macs say you want to become the King Mac Geek of your home or workplace, you could simply go through the Apple Dictionary, read all the definitions, and then also switch to Wikipedia to get more information on each of them. Now, for more detailed information about a specific application and how to use it and what the terms mean inside of it, you can go to the Help menu when you're running that application, and usually there's full documentation there. See episode 425. So I hope you found this useful. Next time you have a question about a Macintosh related term, try looking it up in the dictionary. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.